everybody. We're in Boston, Massachusetts tonight. So much great history here on the ice. Four, four, Esposito. Let's see what's in store tonight. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. The Sharks are going to start with the puck after taking the opening draw. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Made the stop on the play. Quick pass to Marchand. Takes a shot. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Takes the feed. And that's off a stick. Now a quick pass to Pasternak. Poked away in the defensive end. San Jose's on the attack. McAvoy smokes. There's a collision along the boards. And there's a whistle from the officials as the paint of... Oh, and that escalated quickly. Yeah, early in the game, each team really trying to dictate and physically engage here. There's the takedown, and I think that might be kind of a mercy rule there, right, Cheryl? It's a mercy rule as they're exhausted, and you can see them as they're panting, but what it does mean is that the officials can come in and just break it up. The Bruins have created a buzz in the building as everyone's standing on their feet, cheering their guy on in this fight. Boston's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Five-minute major, and that is exactly what it is. This power play has five minutes to make a difference. Let's see how many they can get here. Oh, we got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. And now he passes up to Coyle. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Too much traffic in the lane. From the blue line, they take control of it. Nice stop by Kakanen. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They are really applying the squeeze. This is a tough situation to be in. You're frustrated. You're taking your third penalty of the period. You got to kill it, reset, and find a way to push on. Boston salivating with a five-on-three power play. Oh, the five-on-three opportunity. Sometimes you can move the puck around the perimeter looking for the perfect play. You've got to shoot the puck. Nice defensive robbery on that. And they manage to clear it. Moves it to Schottenkirk. Takes it up center. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Net knocked off. It's Moore and we'll get a face-off. Brown's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Good heads up play to sneak in there on the tie up and come up with the puck. Shot! Oh, what a save with the glove by Kakanen! Hurdles ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. San Jose's won the draw. Passes it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Grabbed along the board by Shattenkirk. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Frederick's got it in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Van Riemsdyk. Tries to the sweet spot. The Sharks have the puck now. Oh, he got it. Kakanen. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got it and challenged right away to make the save. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. They're all over the puck here, James. I mean, their opponent, they don't even have time to breathe. Turn that chance aside. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. And he comes up with the stop there. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. A 
officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. The Sharks start with the puck in their own end. High speed of center moves up ahead now. Easy pass saved made by Omar. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Boston's taking possession in their own end. Quick feed to Coyle. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Sends the pass in front. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Takes up the mark. Picked off by Ruda. Tries to feed it over to Couture. Slip feed. He's able to finish that deke on his forehand where he can get some extra mustard to put it in the open net, James. But it's all about the deke and outweighting the goaltender. He's just got incredible poise and patience with the puck. The Sharks jump out to a 1-0 lead here, and they have been the better team, I'd say, through the better part of this first period here, Cheryl. Yeah, they really have, and I feel like they've settled into the game nicely, James, and they've had good possession time, and they get rewarded there by capitalizing on the opportunity, but I really feel that these next few shifts are really important. You're in the back half of the first period. You just scored. you got to find a way to continue to push. And that's blocked away. Omar's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. More than half the period has expired. The Sharks lead it 1-0. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Across the line, down the left wall. And he loses control of the puck. And that's knocked away by Zaka. Makes the save. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Ruda. I just love this play, and it's an excellent read to get the exit, James, but it's a long-range breakout pass and getting in behind the coverage. That's the key here, getting in behind, cutting the ice in half, and then sail into the offensive zone and finish it off. Here in the late goings of the period, we got a tie game. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. Read that perfectly with the poke check. The Bruins ready to go on the attack. Denies the shooter on that play. Kakanen's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. And he denied that opportunity. Colonel's usually scouted before any key matchup because he's a special player and a good point getter. Marshawn's known for staying engaged and winning those battles for loose pucks, guys. That's his no contest zone ability, and it's how he keeps things going for his club. I'm expecting one of these two players to be the biggest impact for their team tonight. Back to you guys. Sends a pass over. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Bruins have been served up with a two minute penalty for charging. look tonight at their power play unit well they've earned their first power play of the game a tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup oh, the stick. wicked stop by the goalie who got his glove out to knock it away
Peterson's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. The Sharks win that offensive zone faceoff. Takes that pass back to the corner. Stops the rocket. The shot. Scores! Putting the special in special teams, they take the lead. And often when you're on special teams, James, it can go either way in terms of the momentum. If you don't generate anything, it goes the other way. If you generate something, it's all in your favor. I'll tell you what, that was execution. San Jose's got up by one here in this opening frame, but there's a lot of game to go here. Yeah, and I always feel like those next few shifts are critical because you know your opponent, they're either going to respond or they're not. If they don't respond and you're on your toes, you push them back and you look for a second. Moves it quickly over to Couture, and he makes the save. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Battling for it along the boards. And he takes the feed. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Big pass feed. Shot! And he puts that one aside with ease. The Bruins would love to go into this first intermission all evened up as they trail here despite out shooting the opposition. There's the horn, still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. Teams are back on the ice, both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you score? And they strike pay dirt once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels, they're deflated. They got to find a way to continue with the pressure, be relentless, and try and get another one. Oh, James, let's have a look at this goal again. I mean, it's just a desperation play as he's stumbling and just stays on his feet long enough to be able to get his stick on that puck and make a glorious pass to a player who's able to finish it. Listen, you got to out-battle, you got to out-will, and that's just pure strength to be able to stay on your feet. San Jose's extended the lead to two. Well, James, it's exactly where you want to be. You have a two-goal cushion here, but you also know that your opponent's going to start pressing. There's a lot of game left here, and if they get within one, they'll be within striking distance. Answer the call on that play. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. San Jose's got the puck here in the open ice. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Right chain. Marchand's lugging the puck. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Pumps the puck away. Loses his balance on the play. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. San Jose's ready to go on the attack. He's got a step. Denied on the breakaway. Oh, he came up clutch there. Well, he really did. At any time that you're one-on-one, -on -one, you got to beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. Boston's effort at some point has to pay off. They've had plenty of scoring chances, but they still trail in this one. San Jose's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And he makes the save. Angles it over to DeBrus and sends it just out of reach. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, just a great heads up play by Carlo. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Here's a chance, sends it in front. Oh, and he comes up on a stop. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Sharks are up 3-1. Coils won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. Stopped by the goaltender. Kakanen's been really sharp tonight, James, and then just have a look at his save percentage, and he's making the stop that he needs to. The man, his team's played well. They've got going north, they've created opportunities, and the reason why, they have a healthy lead. Sturm's 
won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Moves it to the offensive zone. Shot! Grabs it with the glove. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Kiki's won the faceoff. Puck grabbed by Frederick. Picked up along the wall by Lindholm. Tosses it to Sturm. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Scooped up along the wall by Carlo. Quick pass to Kiki. Boston's got it along the wall. The Sharks have it behind the cage. San Jose's got the puck in the defensive end. Tried to get 2 Q with it and loses possession. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Moves it to McAvoy. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Taken along the wall by Greer. Back to the blue line. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Here's an odd man rush. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Great read to break up the play. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Turns it aside with the glove. Boston's got to find ways to finish because they continue to trail here late in the second. Off the face off, they take the puck. And the puck's kicked free. Boston's got it in their own zone. Tried to make a move when the puck hops away. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. The Sharks have it now. Moving into the attacking zone. San Jose's got the puck in the corner. Huge steal in his own end. Take the shot. 40 minutes down, still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three, next. Over the season's account this month, that Faye can get access to Dean Briscoe. 40 minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams, and we're ready to go. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Boston's had a strong 40 minutes of play, but it can be frustrating when you've been dominating possession, and you look up at the scoreboard, and you're trailing in the third period. you got to stay the course, continue to dominate that possession time, but figure out ways to get to the interior, not just hang out, be influenced to the outside. you got to get inside and make it count. The Sharks take over on possession. Sederlund's got it into offensive territory. And that's off a stick. Puck moved over to Krizlik. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Quick pass over to Hurdle. Takes a spill out of the ice and loses the puck. Big save. What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Boston's been the better team but not necessarily boasting the better goaltender trailing early in the third. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. Puts it on net, and there's the save. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Boston's got it in their own zone. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. 
Here's a short pass to Ruta. And he slides it quickly to Declare. And he takes the feed. Here's a shot. Big time stop. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Picking up some steam at center ice. Takes it from the right side. Quick shot. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. San Jose's got a 3-1 lead. Boston's won the draw. Puck picked up by Lindholm. Kakinen's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident and controlled in the crease. Boston's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. Sturms won the draw inside his own end. The Bruins gain possession. Makes a shot, and that caroms off a body in the lane. Look out, here they come on the attack. And he had an answer with that save. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Sharks have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. Boston's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Carlos hauled down, penalty on the way. Let's get the call here. He doesn't like the call, but it's the ref's discretion and he's going to the penalty box. Boston's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. And that goes off a body. Here he is, shot right in front. The Sharks have possession shorthanded. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Shimmick. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area, and he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And a great read to turn that play aside. Ferraro's time in the penalty box is up, and he's got to get back to just finding his place within the game on the ice, and he gets a nice scoring chance right there that needs to give him some confidence. He can play physical, but he's also got to play with his brain. Pasternak's aware that he needs to step up for his team, guys. His zone ability is one part of his game that can help his team close this gap. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Grabs control of it at the point. Picked up along the boards by Pasternak. Blocked in traffic. Taken by Sturm. Fires it on net. Oh, he gets all that one with the pad. Dishes it to Coyle. Boston's got the puck against the boards. That's good by Kekkonen. What an incredible save in a high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that glove save. Here in the back half of this period, been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3-1 is where we sit. And now it's grabbed by McAvoy. Lays out to block the shot. I have a lot of respect for players who will get in shot lanes and sacrifice their body and put the team ahead of themselves. The Bruins have been the busier team in the offensive zone, but they still trail in the third. And they win the draw here in their own end. Bruda stick handling in his own zone. The Sharks played along the boards. Can't connect on the shot. Pinned up along the boards. And it's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Quick shot. Denies him. He got all of it. Let's get our third member of the broadcast team back in here, our own Carlin Bathe. What you got going on? Marshawn's played a great game, and I really liked his finishing touch, guys. So based on that, I'm giving him the edge in our matchup tonight. 
San Jose is in now. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Hurdle's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles, so he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. He scores! Lights the lamp on the one-timer! Everyone is so focused on the puck carrier below the goal line that they don't notice that the most dangerous player on the ice he is net front. He is creeping around in those quiet areas to make himself available for that one-time shot. When he gets it, he makes no mistake. The Sharks probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. And I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop. And they've been consistent throughout the game. And consistency is always a word that coaches talk about. And if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. And he makes that save as well. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Along the half wall with the puck. Sederlund's gaining momentum. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Let's get the call. Well, the buzzer's all but gone here, James, because there is not enough runway left to get back in this game. In a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around. And the power play strikes once again. Well, you know that specialty teams are so critical, James, and they have executed with the player advantage all night long. What I really love about this power play is it isn't predictable, which means the PK doesn't know where that puck is going. That's how you manipulate it. That's how you open up lanes. And this shot comes from the mid lane or the interior of the ice, and it's buried. The Bruins have definitely gone with the shoot-first mentality tonight, but they continue to trail late in this third period. The Sharks win the faceoff. Solid hit on the play. We got a whistle. A penalty coming up. This is ugly. You're down by a bunch of goals at the end of the game, and you take another penalty deflating. But you have to be careful not to take one that's going to cost you for the next game. nights where they put the special in special teams. Specialty teams were the difference and often momentum can switch the other way if you don't execute but that wasn't the case tonight. Hope everyone had as much fun as we did here tonight for all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski saying peace.